All right, let's talk about Pythagorean theorem. As we know, as we discovered yesterday, uh, Pythagorean theorem works on all right triangles. A right triangle is considered a right triangle because it has one 90 degree angle. Uh, most often you're going to find a right triangle when you're dealing with Pythagorean theorem labeled A, B, and C, sides A, B, and C. Well, sides A and B, those are considered the legs. And the legs are the shorter two sides, and they will always touch the 90-degree angle. They're the two sides that form the 90-degree angle. A and B are the legs. Side C is the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is always the longest side, and it will never touch the 90-degree angle. Side C starts here and goes to here. The 90 degree angle is over here. It's A and B that touch it. C actually, if you want to think of it this way, the 90 degree, the, the corner here, the 90 degree angle mark is actually pointing to the hypotenuse. Okay, it's directly across. So let's go ahead and see how to apply the Pythagorean theorem. This is how we're going to find the hypotenuse if the legs are known. So here in this example, we have a right triangle. Here's our right angle. And we have a side that is 3 inches and a side that is 4 inches. These two sides happen to be the legs. So they're A and B. So A is equal to 3 inches. B is equal to 4 inches. And C is our unknown. Well, we know that we're looking for the hypotenuse. So let's go ahead and plug in what we do know. So in Pythagorean's theorem, which we discovered through our Pythagorean theorem discovery activity, is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So let's go ahead and plug 3 in for a, 4 in for b, and see what that looks like. So we have 3 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared. Next, we're going to simplify. We're going to go ahead and square these. So we have 9 plus 16 equals c squared. We can simplify by combining 9 and 16, which gives us 25. So 25 is equal to c squared. Well, we don't want to know what c squared is. We want to know what just plain old c is. So c squared means c times c. So if I take the square root of these numbers, I'll be left with just 1c instead of c squared. When I do that, the square root of 25 is 5, the square root of c squared is c, which leaves me with 5 is equal to c, which tells us that the missing side is 5 inches. Okay. Now that was an example of when the hypotenuse is missing, that we were given the two legs and the hypotenuse was missing. Our next example, we're going to find a missing leg. And in this case, they've given us the hypotenuse and they've given us a leg. So C in this case, which is a hypotenuse, is equal to 10 feet. B is equal to 8 feet. And it's A that we're missing. So let's go ahead and plug our information into the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We, a is, is our unknown, so we're going to leave it as a squared. For b, we're going to plug in 8. For c, we'll plug in 10. And our result is a squared plus 8 squared equals 10 squared. Let's simplify that because we can find the square of 8 and the square of 10. So we have a squared plus 64 is equal to 100. Guys, if we look at this, we just have a variable that they're adding uh, something to and that equals another number. We can use inverse operations to isolate a squared. Since they're adding 64, we're going to subtract 64 from both sides. When we do that, we are left with a squared is equal to 36. Again, remember like we did on the last example, we're not interested in a squared, so we need to find the square root of that, which would just be a. 
So we're going to find the square root of both of these numbers. So we put the radical sign on them, showing that we're going to find the square root. Then we find the square root, and the square root of 36 is 6. The square root of a squared is a. So we're left with a is equal to 6. So in this case, the missing leg is 6 feet. Okay? I want to go over one more thing. Let's just kind of break this down uh, to a nutshell. If you're looking to find the hypotenuse, there's three steps. The first step you need to do is you need to, uh, not add them, excuse me, you need to, missed it, you need to square them. The second set, step is to add them. So when I say square them, the numbers you're given, if you're looking for the hypotenuse, take the two numbers you're giving, square them, add them together, and then find the square root of that sum. And that uh, answer there, that square root of that sum, will be the length of the hypotenuse. Now, if you're looking for a leg, the first step is still the same. You're going to square them. Now, here's the difference. If you're looking for a hypotenuse, we added them. If I'm looking for a leg, what I'm going to do is to subtract them, subtract uh, the two numbers. Once I do that, I'm going to find the square root of the difference, and the square root of that difference will be the length of that missing leg. I know I went through this in a hurry. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to reach out to me, and see you next time.